What's up all you financial junkies out there? My name is Boris and you guys know what time it is. It is time for the financial lowdown, you guys. We talk about all facets of finance. We talk about real estate, we talk about equity, stock market, we talk about macroeconomics, all facets of finance, you guys, we discuss. Today, I'm talking about a high conviction stock. I'm talking about PHI Group, ticker symbol PHIL. First, I want to take a moment and give a shout out to my cousin, Paulie, who first put me onto this equity and really opened my eyes to the tremendous upside that is sitting within PHI Group. Then he went a step further and he invited me into his Discord. He introduced me to all his fellow group of investors. He introduced me to SD Hunter, who first is, who is the first individual who came across this equity. And he assembled and a tremendous, extensive due diligence packet. His packet of due diligence has been circling around the internet, it has become the holy grail, the bible, the go-to. His DD packet is the one in which everybody refers to when they want reassurances that this company is indeed a high convic conviction stock. He's reassured myself and many, many investors that this is not only a, this is a multi-bagger in the coming years, it's not a pump and dump, it has multiple catalysts. And the reason why it's not a pump and dump, I tell you right now, we have a massive share buyback taking place as well as a special dividend so if you sell out before these catalysts then you're missing out that's the reason why this is not a pump and dump because these massive catalysts are on the horizon uh, we're looking at the end of June possibly and this has already begun to run in anticipation of these coming catalysts and we're still at least a month out you guys um, so therefore this is not a pump and dump it's a high conviction stock which I think we're gonna I'm gonna be holding for the next couple years PHI Group, ticker symbol PHIL, is a micro cap trading on the OTC markets. They have a market cap of $94 million and they're involved in mergers and acquisitions. When you think of M&A, think of Warren Buffett, Berkshire Hathaway. They have the same business model. Their premise is to bring investment infrastructure to South Asia, particularly Vietnam. Their CEO, Henry, is a, is a Vietnamese uh, national. PHI Group is involved in a lot of different infrastructure subsidiary companies. They own a lot of subsidiary companies outright. Other companies, they own an ownership stake. And other companies, they aren't owners. They're simply working as an advisory capacity to bring these companies current on their financials and to bring them to become listed on the major stock exchange, you guys. They're working in an advisory capacity on different M&A activities. And their premise is infrastructure investment in South Asia, particularly Vietnam, you guys. PHI Group is not current with their SEC filings. However, most recently they've retained services from Ernest & Young, a reputable financial auditor, and there's been a major push to get current. They've been putting out a lot of 10Qs and 10Ks with the SEC, an attempt to get current. And this is a major coming catalyst. Henry, their CEO, has stated there's major catalysts on the horizon. However, he can't re re uh, disclose all information because he has to go in a sequential order. He has to report all the, all the years past financials before he can reveal the most current financials. We believe there's major income to show in the last couple of quarters that hasn't been exposed yet, you guys. Here's a list from a recent SEC filing of all the subsidiary companies in which PHI Group owns a 100% ownership stake. Let me just state right now that this is not a list of all the companies in which PHI Group has an affiliation. This is only a list in which of the companies in which they own a 100% ownership stake. Uh, here's a web diagram prepared by SD Hunter. This is page 10 of his SD packet. I'm going to include a link to his, to his SD packet in the comments of this, in the description of this video. And this this creates a list of a web diagram of all the different subsidiaries in which uh, PHI Group has an affiliation with. Um, I'm going to discuss a lot of these different subsidiaries that have coming major catalysts. Let's start with American Pacific, uh, Pacific Resources. American Pacific Resources is a precious metals mining company that was acquired by PHI Group. Um, this is a company that they own outright, 100% ownership stake, and they're going to be spinning this off into a separate publicly traded company on a major exchange. And they're going to be providing a special dividend to all PHI stockholders. For every 20 shares of PHI group that you own, you will see, receive 
one share of the new Ameri APR, American Pacific Resources, in the form of a special dividend. That's a 20 for 1. For every 20 shares of fill, you're going to receive one share of American Pacific Resources. And that's a common catalyst for every shareholder that owns, that owns shares of PHI Group on the ex-dividend date of June 30th, 2021. So if you're selling your shares of PHI Group prior to June 30th of 2021, then you're missing out on the special dividend. Uh, the next subsidiary I'm going to talk about is American Pacific Plastics. APP, American Pacific Plastics, was created as a holding company to acquire 51% ownership of Vena Films. Vena Films is a, is a Vietnamese, Vietnamese uh, plastics manufacturing company. Uh, here's a, re a recent press release. And that's documenting that they acquired the company in August of 2018. They acquired a 51% ownership stake. And it's speculated, the revenues are speculated surrounding Vena Films. Uh, it's speculated that they're going to be surpassing $150 million per year by 2019. And these revenues alone will qualify PHI Group to an upgrade to major stock to major exchange, such as the NASDAQ, in the very near future. So that's a major, major, major coming catalyst, you guys. And the reason that the revenues are speculated and unknown is because there was some sort of Vietnamese uh, financial reporting regulation that made PHI Group unable to re disclose the financials. They're currently undergoing a, an audit. Now here's the, the SEC reporting uh, stating that they're undergoing a gap audit, which is a general aud accepted audit practices. So basically, they're undergoing a gap audit, and very soon that they're, they're going to be disclosing these financials. Pretty much what I expect is PHI Group is going to be putting out an amendment to the SEC filings disclosing recent revenues. And these revenues are speculated to be phenomenal. It's very plausible that these, these blockbuster revenues is going to qualify PHI Group to an uplisting to the NASDAQ. Henry has m major ad aspirations to be uplisted to the NASDAQ. Guys, I just wanted to backtrack a moment. I just came across something in the process of my video that I hadn't noticed previously. It states here at the bottom here, upon completion of the gap audit, they, the company intends to distribute special share dividend of American Pacific Plastics. So let me backtrack. I previously stated that American Pacific Resources is a subsidiary company of, of PHI Group. It's a precious metals company it's, that they're going to be spinning off and to become a separately publicly traded company. And all shareholders of PHI Group will be receiving special dividend of the new APR uh, company. So we're aware of that. So it states here that APP is American Pacific Plastics, a separate entity, and it states here that once they complete their gap audit, they have intentions of also spinning off this company into a separately traded, publicly traded company. So perhaps another special dividend in the works, perhaps a NASDAQ uplist, uplisting based on the revenues alone of American Pacific Plastics, who knows? Major catalysts, major speculations, you guys, major exciting news. The next subsidiary company I'm going to be talking about is Phylex. Phylex is an investment advisory consulting company established to bring infrastructure investment into Vietnam. There's, they have a, several different offshoots within the Phylex umbrella. Um, Phylex has Phylex Global Funds and Gl Phylex Luxembourg Development. Basically, these are this is a Phy Luxembourg bank account in which they established to as a holding company. Uh, to hold uh, capital investment capital within the Luxembourg bank accounts until these fu these capital funds are deployed into inv infrastructure developments. Um, one of the major de developments that Phylex is currently working on is the American Diamond Exchange, the ADE. Here's a press release from an SEC filing about the, May the upcoming Asia Diamond Exchange. It states here that in December 2020, uh, the company was able to secure from Vietnam 1,200 hectare acres of land next to an airport in the duty-free zone. So this is a coming major catalyst. They're going to be developing the first Asia Diamond Exchange. And this Diamond Exchange is going to mirror the Dubai Diamond Exchange. And this, but we basically anticipate substantial upside, substantial revenues in this new coming development. Next we have uh, from SEC filings, different vi various Phylex projects. Uh, we have a real estate fund in which Phylex signed a, an agreement with Fat Von Hung for 49% ownership valued at 2 million US dollars for 49% ownership of the, the real estate fund. Next we have an agreement for the infrastructure fund where they also signed a 49% agreement, 49% ownership valued at 2, US, 2 million US dollars for 49% ownership in the infrastructure fund. Lastly, in the bottom, it states here that they signed agreements with three non-US entities valued at $1 billion for different Phylex projects. 
um, it states that not all the funding has been forthcoming, forthcoming as of today. However, the agreements are in place and the funding will be procured on a future date. Their partners within the infrastructure fund is rated as one of the top 500 private enterprises within Vietnam and it states here that they plan to provide $200 million towards which is 4.6 billion uh, Vietnamese dong to support many social housing projects throughout the country. The next slide I'm going to be sharing with you is from a recent SEC filing. You see in highlighted subfund obligations. These are the funding that they've secured in their Phylex investment fund that they're currently holding in their Luxembourg bank account. So they sub secured substantial funding already. So the last subsidiary I'm going to discuss within the Phylex umbrella is Glink. Glink is a recent MOU, Memo of Understanding, inked between PHI Group and Glink Apps. What Glink does is they sell high quality art and coffee products. So it's kind of like a coffee shop, art venue kind of collaboration. It should be really popular with the young people of Vietnam. Um, so what Glink, Glink retained PHI group, um, here's a recent SEC filing. So they retained PHI in a consulting advisory capacity. They're going to help Glink to get current on their financials and to bring them to a status in which they can become publicly traded on US exchange. Uh, PHI Group is being cons compensated with 88,000 in cash and 5 million shares of common stock when the company becomes publicly traded. We don't really have an understanding of what the company is worth or will be worth in the future. Here's a recent filing with the Secretary of State. It's, they're valuing the company at one cent per share. So we, I don't think that's current. We don't really have an understanding of what the company is worth today. But basically, um, basically, the company is going to be has substantial upside. It's a company in its infancy that the PHI Group is going to nurture and grow into a publicly traded company. Now to discuss some of the major coming catalysts. One of the two major major catalysts up and coming is a massive share buyback. P Here's a document pulled directly from the SEC filing. There's no spe speculating here. This is directly from SEC filings. This document states that. PHI Group is prepared to purchase upwards of 13 billion shares. And then on the bottom of this document here, it states that they're prepared to purchase up to upwards of 15 billion shares. So I don't know which one, maybe is a typo. I'm not certain. However, the outstanding shares of PHI Group are 24 billion shares currently. Uh, here, here's to verify, here's 24 billion shares, you guys. Here's the market, uh, the total outstanding shares. So they're prepared to purchase upwards of 13, or whether it's 15 billion, either way, it's a massive buyback. It's in excess of 50% of the total market cap. So theoretically, if Henry announced tomorrow that he's concluded his share buyback and he's purchased 13 billion shares, and he's gonna go ahead and retire all these shares, your current share price will double overnight, theoretically, you guys. Massive catalyst share with you guys some recent videos regarding the share buybacks. Uh, some of you have asked about the share buyback program and, and so far you know uh, we have tried to make some arrangement for share buyback uh, but officially you know, we cannot say that we have bought back, back share yet because uh, they are not booked an out account uh, yet so we, we cannot say that but uh, you know, we will be looking at that and when uh, everything is, is ready then we can we can announce, but um, at the moment, you know, we, we cannot say that we have bought back shares on our books. But uh, this means that we're not looking at it. Let's keep it rolling. Video number two. Uh, of course, you know, with the buyback program, we hope to reduce the number of uh, Arsenal shares because we have looked at a number of ways to increase uh, shareholder value, and uh, uh, we will share with you in more detail as we uh, go uh, forward. And, Final video, you guys. Uh, what source of revenue or funds are there to buy back stock? It's a very good question. Uh, we have uh, made some arrangement uh, uh, to, to make uh, in order to, to do that. And um, we have some uh, uh, partners, both uh, domestic and international. Um, and um, uh, when everything uh, is ready, then we will uh, announce. Guys, what an opportune time to conduct a share repurchase program. The company is currently operating as a micro cap and a company in its infancy. Now is the opportune time to conduct such a massive share repurchase program. What a massive upside and catalyst for their shareholders. 
Now the second major common catalyst with PHI Group is a special dividend. They're going to be spitting off one of their subsidiary companies to become a separate publicly traded company. The company is called American Pacific Resources. They are special. They are precious metals mining company with current active claims in Oregon. For every 20 shares of fill you own, you will receive one share of the new APR stock, and the and their ex dividend date will be June 30th, 2021. Now here's an article I retrieved from the diggings.com discussing American Pacific Resources APR. It states here that they've had 20, uh, excuse me, 16 mine claims in the past, and of which four retired and 12 remain active. And this shaded region shows where in which their their claims are located. So PHI Group is my high conviction stock with Henry, the beloved CEO. It has a tiny micro cap with an ambitious share repurchase program. It also has an up and coming special dividend of American Pacific Resources. Those are the two major catalysts. There's other potential catalysts on the horizon, such as Vena Films. What are their revenues? It's speculated that their revenues alone will qualify PHI Group for NASDAQ uplisting. Major catalysts up and coming, you guys, major subsidiaries in their infancy, such as the Asia Diamond Exchange, which have massive upside. Massive catalysts, you guys. High conviction in my books, you guys. Thanks for listening. I'll see you, I'll see you guys on the next finance talk. Peace out till next time, you guys.